and welcome to an Etonium video where I'm going to take a look at the Death From Above Fire Lily build that I've used or I've been tweaking for my main account but I did use this recently in AMB Gold and it worked quite well there as well so uh, it's something that is viable for AMB events um, now the reason I've been tweaking the build is that there's been some changes over the last few months that have made it a viable farmer in the Troll 100 to 105 range. Um, namely that Fire Lily had its damage corrected, so uh, it now does 500% more damage instead of 400% which it was doing for ever since it was released and also uh, dual school damage so previously you had to have either fire or frost and with a fire uh, death from above build the bulk of your damage comes from fire death from above and shatter um, so you would have built in purely on fire however once you hit troll 100 uh, the build would fall flat on its face, the boss had too much health and you'd end up wasting an awful lot of time on the boss fights. Um, but with the changes for dual school damage it means that we can also have frost damage in for thermal shocks which is very helpful. Um, so what I'm going to do in this video is take a look at the build, we'll talk about death from above a bit as well go through the stats and then I will add in some clips from this character and a few runs from AMB Gold as well just to show that it is uh, capable of, of running in AMB even without all the champion levels and celestial gear that I've got on this character. So with a Death From Above build you will be requiring the Grand Magister's Command weapon sets so that we can have thermal shocks and shatters going into place. Uh, the Elemental Lord's Regalia, armor as well for improving those abilities. Um, but let's just make a quick start by looking at, actually, at the Death From Above ability first. Now at level 10 it fires a base 6 missile so it's hitting for 800% damage which isn't particularly impressive um, but the hero when we cast our auto attack skills we have a 10% chance to add a charge so that's uh, these skills up here and special attacks have a 100% chance to add 1 to 3 charges for immolate and frost nova um, but it also synergizes with the regalia pads from the regalia armor that the amount of death from above charges produced is increased by 100%. So uh, our auto attacks would add have a 10% chance to add two charges and our emulate and frost nova have a 100% chance to add two to six charges. Um, what isn't mentioned anywhere on here is that there is a maximum number of charges that can be put on which uh, from my testing looks like it's 26 charges um, and that's normally achieved through Frost Nova Immolate, Frost Nova Immolate and with your auto attacks going on in between those four casts there will get you up to the maximum 26 charges. And since we're on this screen, we might as well go through the abilities that we use. Uh, Frostbolt, that is required for uh, guarantee getting our Northern Wind up. Northern Wind is required for Shatter to proc from our Grand Magister's Command weapons. So that's why we take Frostbolt. Uh, Arc Lightning at level 10 is um, will be doing more damage to enemies and our attack speed is increased. Our attack speed isn't too much of an issue. Um, it's the extra damage to enemies that we do through that. Uh, Immolate at level 10 is going to do additional weapon damage. 
um, in the AMB event with the clips that are coming up I had that at level 8 um, and Frost Nova um, it doesn't really do a great deal of damage uh, the whole reason for it is back here with Frostbolt with the 100% chance to trigger Northern Wind because we want Shatter every time we cast Immolate so that's there um, and also we have Death From Above which we've already spoken about obviously when we cast Death From Above that is also a fire ability which will trigger a second Shatter as long as Northern Wind is still up so that's very helpful for the build um, for movement speed we have Fleet Footed for extra damage we take Glass Cannon and for a chance of extra more damage if it's active Power Infusion and before we look at the stats we've got three healers set up because um, that's handy for grouping up enemies when we are casting death from above on the mob phase again with the AMB event I had one healer and was still able to run some quick times which you'll see in the clips later on um, so going through the gear and the stats and you don't need Celestials um, and you don't need 77s if I'm honest uh, this is just a bit of a silly build that I've gone for anyway uh, we have a Regalia Helm haste experience power is absolutely critical for a uh, Death From Above build ability rate and vitality and extra fire damage on there um, about 80 to 90 percent of our damage is fire based and about 10 percent comes from frost uh, on the necklace i've got pure experience as a perfect necklace um, if you were using this in amb or you don't have enough toughness then you could go with power experience haste ability rate or power experience haste vitality um, you don't necessarily have to go pure experience on that item the shoulders ability rate experience power and haste and that has been enchanted with even more power on the chest power haste ability rate experience vitality comes from it being celestial um, i've got life on hit on here if you are lacking toughness you might want to put on plus vitality um, I find for running troll 100 to 105 somewhere between 300 and 400 thousand toughness should see you good this is overkill by a long long way uh, the integralis mantle ability rate haste experience power we've got vitality from it being celestial and more power enchanted onto it the fire lily we have fire damage, experience, haste and frost damage uh, vitality from it being a celestial so the fire damage is there as I mentioned earlier for death from above and for shatter and frost damage is there for thermal shock and it's really there to increase our kill speed on the boss at trolls 100 to 105 Talisman of Power, Fire Frost, Haste Experience, Vitality from the Celestial, the Arm Guards, Ability Rate Experience, Power, Haste, Vitality from Celestial, and we've just got Armor to increase our toughness on these. I don't think there's any decent enchantment for gloves for a mage. Uh, Bracer of Mastery. Uh, we've got fire, frost, power and experience and then vitality from that being celestialized um, and we have a death from above increase damage by 178% from the uh, bonus on that 
Sasha the Igniter, I'd like to see this buffed in the future. Um, power, experience, frost damage, fire damage, vitality comes from it being celestialized. Um, so we get these burning stacks coming from death from above. So if we're getting our 26 charges of death from above, we can put 26 stacks of burning onto um, an enemy which we can then cast Frost Nova for a thermal shock and do a nice big chunk of damage. Uh, regalia Pants, haste ability rate, experience and movement speed. Again, Celestial Eyes, so there's some vitality and more movement speed added on. The Boots, ability rate, haste, movement speed, experience, and again, enchanted with movement speed. The rings, so these are possibly better stats than I've gone with the pure experience up here. Power, vitality, ability rate, experience. Uh, enchant with power, we want as much power as possible on a fire lily build. And again, power, haste, ability rate, experience and even more power. And to finish up, we've got our Grand Magister's Command Weapon, so Igneous Pillar of Flames, Power, Ability Rate, Experience, Haste, and the Slayer Enchantment is on here. Uh, that is quite important because it really does boost our damage, uh, especially on the boss fight. If Slayer's up, we can one-hit bosses um, at Troll 100 through 105. Uh, Glacis Tempestus, Power Haste Experience Ability Rate, you don't need Obsification on here at all, that's what I've got enchanted, but it's not required, I didn't use it in AMB Gold. Um, one other thing, on the helm, where well, we've got fire damage added in here, uh, during AMB Gold I went with the cheaper option of Slayer, now Slayer does extra damage to elites um, which helped a little bit through there um, I didn't feel that fire damage was particularly helpful in AMB Slayer was um, but the fire damage here means we do a bit more damage at the boss fight stage whereas Slayer will be adding nothing at the boss fight so that's why I've gone with fire on there um, Going through the overall attributes, we've got quite a lot of damage on here. This will just keep improving as I very slowly increase champion levels at this stage. Haste rating at 5.5 hits per second. Uh, crit rating and crit damage we can safely ignore. We're on a Fire Lily build, so that's not doing anything whatsoever. Our bonus fire damage is 101.5%, which is a very healthy amount, and our frost damage is at 91.5%. So those are some fairly nice stats there. Vitality, masses of it for Troll 100-105. Armor at the sort of 80 to 82% range that I like to sit at. Life on hit is 1000 from champion levels, uh, 400 from the enchantment on the chest and the rest is coming from medals. Ability rate 2139, that's a lot of ability rate there. So you can afford to lose some ability rate from somewhere else in the build and add in more power or vitality as needed. Uh, nice fast movement speed and my experience gain, this is with a 100% current uh, experience booster at 2903. So we're a little over 1450 base experience. So I think what I'll do now is drop in some clips of the build in action. Um, I've recorded Run a Trial 80 where most of the damage will come from Shatter. We've got all that bonus fire damage at Trial 80 with this sort of power.
power and weaponry. Uh, Shatter is killing almost everything. Uh, Troll 90, Troll 100, we'll have it on this character and from AMB Gold. Troll 102 with this character and AMB Gold. And then Troll 105. Um, I was building, aiming to run 102 efficiently. Now I've done a 38 second clear towards the end of last season at 102. Um, but if we look at this season, now that I've finished building this character, um, I popped in a 44 second. I've had quite a few runs under 50 seconds, so it is viable for running 105 nice and quickly as well. So uh, I will be using this build to farm 105 for experience. Um, but I'm waffling now, so I will drop in the clips. Most of them will be no commentary, and I think one of the AMB clips uh, you'll hear mouse clicking because uh, some microphone settings have got messed up. <laughs> but uh, there won't be any commentary for any of those runs.
down the healer. This, my friend, is treasure. So that's how sort of the, the build plays out. Hopefully you found that useful. If you've got any extra questions or comments, feel free to put them down below and I'll answer you as soon as I can. And thank you very much for watching.